So welcome everyone to another tutorial by me Karen for Stencil Girl and I am here with some super bright colours because I think we're all ready for spring at this stage in the year. So I'm going in with this really bright orange and lovely yellow and I'm just blending the two colours together. In a moment you'll see me with my catalyst tool going over them with some gesso. This will blend the two colours together because towards the end they kind of got a little bit too bright for me and also gives me a really nice base to add on some extra layers of mark making and any kind of other things I want to add on top the gesso gives me a nice background again So I'm going in here now again with my Liquitex paint marker. It's one of my favourite things to use when it comes to putting marks onto my page. I just use the shape of the paint marker itself. It's got like a chisel tip so it's great for adding in these little kind of dots and dashes onto your page. I'm also going in with my mechanical pencil now and I'm just adding in some scribbled journaling and any kind of words that kind of pop into my head or things I'm thinking about at the moment. It doesn't have to make sense and I tend to scribble all the writing but it gives you a really nice layer and it gives some visual interest to the page as well. So this is a number stamp set that I've had in my stash for ages, so it's a new old discovery, so I've been pulling them out and using them on everything at the moment. So I'm going in with a stays on ink pad here and I'm just stamping the pattern of the numbers randomly across the page. Again just breaks up the colour, there was a little bit too much solid colour going on here for me and just gives another extra layer to your background and a little bit more interest to your page. So I'm going in with my paintbrush to add my paint through my stencil and this is the Bubblegum Pink by Dilutions. It's one of my favourites and the stencil that I'm using here is the Straight Stem Stencil and it is by Terry Stegmiller and I really love the shape and size of the stencil. It's a really nice bold design, it gives you a lot of options for how to layer it up. So I go in with the pink uh, first and then I go in with uh, just a craft paint and it's a blue turquoise kind of colour so it complements well the background and it goes well against the bubblegum pink too. So I'm going in with my uni ball and this is the Signo Broad and it's in the white, it's one of my favourite white markers. So I'm just adding in some outlines to the pink flower here and I go in and add in some doodles for the shapes of the leaves just to give it a little bit more interest and a little bit more variety. I don't do it on the turquoise one, I just do it on the pink. I think that the white showed it better against the pink than it would have done for the blue. So just 
to finish off the page, I seem to have cut this bit out of the editing, but I just added in, you can see there, just on the left hand side, I just pulled out this um, scrap of writing from a Flow magazine, and it just says simplify your life, and that was all I did to finish off my page. So a really simple journal page, and thanks so much for watching.